national news. This is news from around the world. This is news from around the world. It's our legacy. Nigeria must be cool. The labor of our heroes past must never be in vain. It's your mandate. Our allegiance is to the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not to any political party or any political actor. Can you need news from all around the world. Voice of the people, 96.1 FM. Good morning. It's 9 o'clock. This is news around Abuja on Voice of the People, 96.1 FM. I am Gesire Agua. The Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has disclosed plans to launch unified standard transportation system in the nation's capital. The Director, Directorate of Road Traffic Services, DRTS, Dr. Abdulatif Bello, revealed this at a stakeholders' engagement meeting. He said that the need to standardize the transportation system in Abuja has become expedient given the rate at which the city is growing. Belo said that Abuja cannot be left without an organized transportation system that will meet the needs of all citizens. He equally stated that the recovery of taxi racks earlier issued quick notice within the capital city would soon commence with the aim of reorganizing it for licensed operators. In the meantime, the FCTA has threatened to sanction principals and school administrators responsible for the low turnout of students in public schools. The secretary of the FCTA Education Secretariat, Dan Lami Hayo, disclosed this when he led the management team of the Secretariat for the 2024 second term resumption visitation and inspection to select schools in the territory. Though satisfied with the turnout of students in the schools visited, the secretary, however, warned that the administration will not take it lightly with any school found to record low student turnout as such development, he said, translates to failure on the part of the school authorities. Hayo stressed that education is a priority of the current administration and so will ensure they protect the sanctity of the sector. In another development, about 11 persons have been kidnapped in the Sagwari estate layout in the Dutse al Haji area of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, after gunmen reportedly dressed as military men invaded the community. It was also gathered that the gunmen attacked two gated residential areas, kidnapping a total of nine persons, including a woman and her four children, before invading a nearby hotel and kidnapping the hotel receptionist and barman, who were on duty at the time. The kidnappers stormed Sagwari Estate layout at about 7.30 to 8 p.m. on Sunday. That ends the news around Abuja. Join us for national news at 12. For coverage of your live events and brand news mentions on our news bulletin, do send a mail to Abuja News at voiceofthepeople.ng. Good morning. Many thanks for listening. I am Gesire Agua.